This problem says that when we have two atoms of deuterium, that's hydrogen 2, and they collide together, they can form one atom of helium. Let's go ahead and write that up here. So I've got two separate atoms of hydrogen 2, once again that's called deuterium, they both have an atomic number of 1, collide together to form one atom of helium, whose uh, atomic symbol with uh, mass and atomic number are shown there. It tells me furthermore that the total energy evolved for this, so I'll go ahead and write down delta E is equal to uh, 3.83 times 10 to the negative 12 joules. So that's our delta E there. It then asks me to calculate what the total change in mass in kilograms is for this reaction. To do this, we're of course going to use the equation equals mc squared. <clears throat> you can modify that, of course, to be delta E equals uh, delta m times c squared. c being the speed of light doesn't change, but the mass, that can change. So delta e is given to me, what we're trying to figure out then is delta m. Let's go ahead and throw this up here. Delta e is equal to 3.83 times 10 to the negative 12 joules. The uh, speed of light, of course, is equal to uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We're going to square that. So if I take this number and divide it by that number, I end up getting delta M being equal to some crazy number. I'm going to let you do that on your calculator. It's not really too bad. The units, however, might be a little bit confusing because the units are going to be joules divided by meters squared per second squared. And as you look at that more closely, you might look at it and say, well, wait a minute, that isn't a mass amount. So what in the world's going on? Please keep in mind, however, that a joule is equal to one kilogram meters squared per second squared. Okay? That is what a joule is. So I can replace this J up here with kilogram meters squared per second squared, and then you'll notice that the meters squared per second squared cancel each other out, and I'm left with units of kilograms, which are the units that this question is asking for. So go ahead and throw those numbers into your calculator, dividing this number by this number squared, and you'll get the correct answer.